Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. For today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of games building on a layer 2 scaling platform on Ethereum called Immutable X. With its low gas fees and fast speeds, more projects have been building on Immutable X. If you want to get started gaming on Immutable X, in this video, I'll be listing down the top 5 games currently on this chain. So without further ado, let's get started. To start off our list, we have Illuvium. Illuvium is an open world exploration game, an NFT creature collector game, and an auto battle game all combined into one. It is being built on Immutable X. The game has two modes, which are the open world RPG mode and the auto battle mode. In the open world RPG mode, this is where you can control your character and travel the overworld, where you can mine, harvest, capture, and fight alluvials. Alluvials are beasts that roam the overworld. These are what you can think of as the Pokemon that you have to catch. Illuvials also have affinities and classes. Affinities are the connection to the five elements of the world, which are water, fire, earth, air, and nature. The class of an alluvial can be one of five, which are fighter, guardian, rogue, scion, and empath. Similar to other RPGs, the class of your alluvial determines how it performs in combat. Once you've captured some alluvials, you can then participate in the second aspect of the game, which is the auto valor arena. You place your units on the field, in this case the alluvials you own, and when the round starts, they fight against the other team. Their affinities and classes are also important in this auto battler part because if your team has more synergies with each other, they will unlock bonuses in the fights. For example, having multiple alluvials that are fire or multiple fighter classes will have bonus effects. By winning in tournaments or completing PvE quests, you can earn ILV, the game's token. You can also earn by capturing rare alluvials and collecting resources to sell them on the Alluvidex, the game's marketplace. The game also recently released Alluvium Zero, which is a base building fork of the game. The overworld and arena modes are currently in private beta, while Alluvium Zero is currently in alpha. For more info, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Gods Unchained. Gods Unchained is a competitive NFT PvP TCG being built on Immutable X. In Gods Unchained, players compete in a TCG battle royale with the cards they own, power up their decks to climb the ladder, and have a chance to earn awards. Gods Unchained is one of the first games that launched the player and gaming scene and still up and running since March of 2021. It is a game under the training card game genre, so if you played games like Hearthstone or Legends of Runeterra, you'll be familiar with how this game plays like. The main NFTs in the game are the cards themselves, which players use to build their decks and compete with opponents. Cards are released in multiple expansions like Trial of the Gods, Divine Order, and Moral Judgment. They are also part of a tribe like Olympian, Amazon, Dragon, and Mystic. And since the cards are NFTs, they are freely tradable and can be bought and sold by players on the marketplace. The game is also free to play at a start, with players being given a starter deck when they join the game. This removes the cost of entry with other NFT games. Last August 31st, the daily play and earn feature went live. This means players will be able to earn the game's core gods token from the first 10 ranked games played and won every day. Players will earn fragments, which are points that can be gained from the first 10 ranked matches in each day. Players need to win in order to earn the points, with the first 3 wins giving double the amount. These fragments will be automatically converted into gods tokens, and become claimable 7 days later after the end of the day you played and earned points in. The game recently announced exciting UI updates for enhanced gaming experience for players. For more info, you can check their website. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're always updated with our videos. Now let's get back to the list. The next game on our list is Pirates of the Arland. Pirates of the Arland is a MOBA and arcade game combined with MMO strategy and economic experience. In Pirates of the Arland, players can explore the island, complete quests, avoid obstacles, and fight enemies all with the chance of fighting hidden chests with rewards. The game is set in a pirate world where players have the capability to expand the space around them, making the world even bigger. During gameplay, the player can assign tasks to his subordinates, or play the role of a chosen character and control their avatar. The game can be played in a third-person perspective, first-person perspective, or top-down view with free camera, depending on the gameplay type at a given time. Players can explore the world as they choose. They can develop their heroes as they progress, and collect all the hidden treasures they find along the way. There are different areas featured in the world such as the river, beach, jungle, waterfalls, and volcano. There is also a portal on the home island for when players want to join the battle arena, or the PvP mode. Players can either make a new game or join an existing one, and matches can happen in different maps with different sizes, depending on player number. Since the game is powered by the blockchain, a majority of the essential elements are NFTs, and can be found in the player's wallet. These include things like pirate NFTs, ships, lands, and various items. And since these assets are all NFTs, they are freely tradable by the player. According to their roadmap, a Battleground beta is expected in Q2 of 2023, while a full launch of the Battleground is expected in Q4 of 2023. For more details, you can check out their website. The next game on our list is Undead Blocks. Undead Blocks is a multiplayer kill and zombie survival game being built on Ethereum. In Undead Blocks, players use their character along with many different weapon NFTs to defeat hordes of zombies and earn rewards for each kill. The game will feature several ways to play, but the main enemies to kill will always be the zombies. 
There's a solo mode if players want to try on their own, but there's also a squad mode if they want to bring a bunch of their friends over, up to 4 people per squad. And there's a speedrun mode where players have to complete set number of waves as fast as they can. In each game mode, standard Z-Bucks will be awarded based on performance and can be played anytime. There's also a rotating daily leaderboard challenge which grants players the ability to earn gold Z-Bucks. Players can equip various NFT weapons in the game to improve their efficiency. Weapons are also upgradable which can increase their damage, ammo capacity, and even accuracy. There are handguns, SMGs, assault rifles, shotguns, and even a special crossbow. Undead and Z-Bucks are the game's two tokens. Like I mentioned earlier, Z-Bucks can be earned by playing the game and is the main reward currency. It can be used to upgrade items and is spec at $0.10. It is also an off-chain currency. Undead is the main governance token of the game and is used to purchase weapon NFTs in the ecosystem. It can also be used to stake to earn more. The game is currently in beta. You can check their website for more details. And the last game on our list is Cross the Ages. Cross the Ages is a strategy card game being built on Immutable X and Polygon. In Cross the Ages, you can compete individually and in teams for valuable NFTs while going on metaverse quests to discover priceless easter eggs hidden in the novels. Cross the Ages universe takes place in a dystopian world where mystical creatures and masters of magic collide with AI-powered cyborgs in a fight for the last resources of power. The Clash of the Worlds is based on seven fantasy and science fiction novels which are available for free to the public in several languages, written by award-winning authors. Cross the Ages is a mobile first collectible card game that offers a full value cycle from mobile gaming to desktop gaming, leveraging blockchain technology, then finally to physical collectible cards, leveraging near-field communication technology. Since it is a collectible card game, if you are fans of other games in the genre such as Hearthstone or Legends of Runeterra, or even other blockchain card games like Gods Unchained or Skyweaver, then this might be familiar to you. But of course, Cross the Ages also puts its own spin on the genre. The main NFTs in the game are the cards themselves which can be obtained in packs. One example is the Arcante NFT pack. All cards have attributes which affect how you play and use them. One of the most important in this game is the heptogram of advantages when it comes to elements, shown here. These show which elements or affinities beat others. Cards also come in three types, which are battle cards for capturing or battling opponents' cards, leader cards that are special in your deck, and field cards to change elements on the board. If you want to learn more in depth about the mechanics of this CCG, you can check their white paper on their website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're looking for games building on Immutable X, then I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games out of all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.